They telling me to take the safe route This is the detour Hoodie baby you ain't seen a kid like this before him Hey guys, I'm Chaotic And today I'm going to be telling you guys how to open and how to use Wiggler on Adobe After Effects This should work on CS5, CS4, and CS3 I'm not really sure about CS3 but I know it should work on CS4 and CS5 So what you want to do is you want to go to Composition, New Composition um, get these settings down, you can pause the video and look at them and put them down. These are really good settings that I have. So you want to rename the composition wherever you want. I'll just leave it as Composition 1, or Comp 1, which is okay. And you want to go to File, Import, File. Um, you can use this effect for anything. You can use it for earthquake effect on the video. You can use it for um, cloud editing. You can do cinematic. You can do a, a OCE or montage with it. I'm just going to do a cinematic for right now. So, Comp 1. And then you want to drag that down here and then let's make this a little longer okay so now what you want to do is you want to press oh wait so um as you can see i have wiggle open right here when you first um start adobe after effects and you don't have a window if you haven't ever opened wiggler before what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to window and make sure wiggler is checked because when you first start Adobe After Effects and you've never opened Wiggler before, it's going to be like that. So you can click it, and it's open right here on the bottom right. Well, it should be on the bottom right. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to press P. Well, you want to click over here and then press P. And then you want to go to the start of the video, wherever you want to start it. This is a cinematic. I'll start at the beginning. So once you want to start it, you press the little stopwatch. Then you go to the ending of the video. I mean, wherever you want to end the, um, <coughs> excuse me, wherever you want to end the Wiggler effect. And for me, I'll be at the end of the video since I'm doing a cinematic. So I'll go to the last keyframe, and then you see on the, on the bottom left over here, see the two little arrows and a little diamond in the middle. You want to press the little diamond. And then you can either highlight both of these, and then or you can just shift click both of them. Either way, doesn't matter. Both are the same thing. And then you see Wiggler will let you edit a little more. So right here, where it says apply to and dimensions, do not touch those at all. And then noise type. You can either have smooth or jagged. Um, for me, I like to use jagged just as a personal preference. Um, frequency and magnitude, you can change those around as much as you want. Um, the frequency is, um, I can call it. Oh, I forgot what it's called, but I know the magnitude is how hard the wiggler is. So I like to have my magnitude at around 8 and 11. And my frequency, I just keep it at 5 or 4. So I'm gonna click, wait, hang on, let me rewind this. I'm gonna click the high to. And then we're gonna play the video. And then you can see the video is mo moving a little bit, doing the wiggler effect. You can't see too much right now because of the FPS drop from the recording. But anyways, guys, let me um, zoom in a little bit. I ask a little too much. All right, so it's wiggling a little bit. And you can increase it however much you want. Just go to the magnitude to increase it. But as you can see, there's these little black lines when you use the wiggler effect. So what you want to do is you want to rewind the video and you want to resize the video on the top. Right there, I should be good. Okay, let's play the video. Alright, now you see you don't get any more of those black lines, which is really good, because the black lines will affect when you render out the video. Alright, so we're done with the regular effect. Now what you want to do, is you want to rewind it. Wait, so make this smaller. Go over here, and shorten the workspace. And put it as long as the clip. Um, you can edit this in Sony Vegas too, but you want to get it as precise as you can because you don't want any extra rendering that you didn't really need, but also take a long time. So about there's good. Now what you want to do, wait, hang on, I forgot some of the clip is black. Okay. Alright, so we're done. Now what you want to do is you want to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, Output Module, um, change anything you want. It's good to have it as a really good quality, you want quick time. We can also have it as AVI. I have it as AVI for right now. Format, um, make sure that um, this is at 100%. Um, everything else you can keep. And if you have audio in your video, um, then click this. But if you don't have any, then you can unclick that if you want. Every time you have audio in your video and you want to render your video with audio, you have to click this, audio output, or else you will not have audio. So we'll unclick that since we don't have any audio. Okay. Output 2. Uh, let's put this for desktop right now just as a test. Uh, comp. Uh, let's put this as cinematic 
No, no, not cinematic. Wiggler test. Okay. Save that. And now I want to save, I want to click render. And then you're gonna let that render, guys. And I'll pause it right now and I'll wait for the recording. I'll wait for it to stop rendering. Okay, guys. The video has stopped rendering. And you'll know when it's rend when done rendering when you see this little line right here. You'll see it go yellow all the way to the end. And also at the end, you'll, see you'll hear a little ding sound. So once you hear the ding sound, you know everything's ready. So go wherever you saved it. And for the demonstration, I saved it to my desktop for easy access. And then just watch your video. Okay, open it. Okay, let's let this load. Come on. There we go. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Taking a while. Whoa, I'm having FPS drop. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. It won't be this laggy for you. It's just that because I'm recording, it's like super laggy. You know what? I'm just gonna put the. I'm just gonna put it at the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll have the um, the Wiggler test on the end of the video, just so it won't be so FPS dropping. So anyway, guys, I thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Bye.